The Honorable Member for Sydney Whitney Pier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, may I do an introduction? Permission granted. Thank you. In the West Gallery today, we have my wife, Jennifer Susan King. It's only her third time being here in 12 years. <laughs> uh, I don't know why she wouldn't come here all those years, but I, I, I'd ask her to rise and receive a warm welcome. everybody. Uh, thank you to my wife, who's been by my side through this struggle, uh, my best friend, my partner, who, to my caucus colleagues, to all of you guys for being great, to all members of the Legislative Assembly, thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank your office, the clerks, Mr. Neil Ferguson and Ed Fouchet for all their help over the years. The House of Assembly operations, what a privilege it is to stand here in this historic building, 197 years old, you know, and look at the shape of this building. Thanks to Mike Laffin and Peter Terrio, you know, this building is in great shape. It's been an honor and a privilege to stand here. Uh, I would also, Mr. Speaker, like to thank your retired staff, Nancy Kinsman, you know, that poor lady was here for... <laughs> 33 years and 11 speakers. My, my, God bless her. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the speakers in Min's office for looking after all of our expenses. Deborah Lunsby and all the staff over there. How can I not forget the man that's been here for 37 years who writes up all our legislation? Gordon Hem, you know, he's been here a long time, and I wish Gordon all the best also. Legislative television, the boys upstairs in the bird's nest, up in the third floor that nobody sees. Jim and Matt and those guys, and you know what I mean? Uh, Paul and Matt and Jim and all the rest of the people up there, Mark. Uh, you know, what will we do without those people? What will we do with MLAs? The committee's office, I'd like to thank them personally for all the committees that I've been on, but thank them for always having those little rocket candy for me. <laughs> you know, thank the Kim and, uh, and, and, and Sherry and Kim and, and those people, those rocket candies. Even though I was diabetic, I'd sneak the odd one before I committed. <laughs> uh, to Nancy's husband, Bob Kinsman, who's always up here in the gallery somewhere looking for how do you spell Kasevna, Kakoska, you know, all those lovely names of Whitney Pier. Uh, the Legislative Library, Margaret Murphy and all the staff, Heather and those guys. Security, the Sergeant of Arms, uh, Ken Greenham, uh, Buzz and Don and Clyde, those guys. Uh, I surely will miss all them. You know, all of those people I will miss dearly. But first of all, I would like to thank my brother, um, Lorway, Bill, Harold, my mother, Enid, for always being there for me. <laughs> and how could I not forget my constituent assistant, Al Crawley, who's been with me from day one. He's probably one of the longest serving constituency assistants in the province. He's sure looking for a break. He'll be happy. He'll be happy to have a break. And Keith Neville, you know, recently on the news, Keith was doing the DVA files, and I told him no. But Keith, you know, being an determined young man, a little older than me, decided that he would keep doing the DVA files, you know, and uh, work hard. Then Jamie Crane, who I love dearly, the outreach worker in Cape Breton, <coughs> to all the caucus staff in the caucus office, and Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank them, you know, from Emily Reed to Nancy Shepard 
to Brandon Rose, to Linda Smith, to um, Aaron Harpel, Mark LaVenture, Matt Wynott, the youngest member ever elected to this legislature, uh, Hannah and, uh, and Matt Wynott and Aaron. I mean, I think I got them all. And Amanda, who can forget Amanda? My God, sorry Amanda, I couldn't forget you for all those emails. You won't be sending them to me anymore. Uh, and Matt Smith recently just started back with the caucus. But, you know, it, it, it's been a pleasure to be here as an MLA. Um, you know, I grew up in a company house, and to come from there to here, what a journey. Um, I don't want this to be a sad day. I want this to be a happy day. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I am very happy. I have to look after my health, Mr. Speaker. It's something that uh, is important to me. You know, I'd like to thank the, the doctors here in Halifax, Mark Taylor and his secretary, Judy, and them for the operation. Uh, the, um, the nurses on the third floor at the ENT, Amanda, Allison, thank you for all those needles every four hours. <laughs> when, you're, when, you, when, you, when, you know, when you're in the hospital and they just get to sleep, and I see the Minister of Health is laughing. They wake up, you know, give me another needle. I finally got to sleep. Well, you know, thank you to Amanda and Ardell and Jen and, and all of those people. To uh, the Minister yesterday for allowing my bill on HPV vaccination to go to second reason, you know. <laughs> thank you. Boy, in the class of 03, the Premier, the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Health, the member for Argyle. <laughs> My best friend. The member for Comiquit Sackville, uh, the class of 03, keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah. Is that everybody? My uh, people that worked for years on my campaign, Nalina McGuigan, uh, Allison Swan, Alice Swan, Diane Delaney, uh, Bertie Jessam, uh, all of those people that, uh, you know, and, and also, I would personally like to thank the people of Sydney Whitney Pier. And you know that old riding, Cape Breton Nova. I'd like to thank them people too. <laughs> yeah. I know the Boundary Commission got rid of the riding, but the people of Cape Breton just couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> and uh, so it, it's been a pleasure. Mr. Speaker, you're doing a fine job. You know, it, it's very difficult to meet a speaker and be impartial. And I find that you're one of the most impartial speakers that has been here in my time and the time before that. Congratulations to you, Mr. Speaker, and keep up the good work. <laughs> I guess it's time to say goodbye. God bless. <laughs>